there's a little bit of boating history for you. Isn't that nice? If you enjoy that sort of thing, if you want a bit of, I guess, modern boating history, something with the same sort of nostalgia but without the maintenance bills, well, then I might just be on one of those boats today. It's a 2004 Azura 33, made in Australia. Classic looks to make your head turn and a real boat that can be appreciated. Come with me, I'm gonna do a bit of a walkthrough, take you for a test drive. My name's Dan Jones, this is The Boat Brokerage. Hope you enjoy. I guess you could say every every boat's built for a purpose. You know, that purpose, it, it could be fishing, it could be cruising, it could be entertaining. But not every boat is built to be beautiful. And this is one exception. This is the Azura 33. This boat is beautiful. Made in Australia, fiberglass construction, modern, built in 2004, and relatively low maintenance because whilst there is plenty of beautiful timber highlights, as we can see, it's actually fiberglass decks, fiberglass hull. Um, yes, it's got a teak cockpit inside, which is protected when the covers are on. And she's a shaft drive diesel boat. So she's a beautiful, I guess you could say, gentleman's cruiser and something you'd be proud to own. So we're gonna do a bit of a walkthrough. And I apologize for any wind noise. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, we'll start at the back of the boat here. So we do have this swim platform, which is integral into part of the boat there. There's a couple of dinghy davit chocks with, uh, which can be removed on the transom there and a three-step swim ladder. This is a real timber inlay on the transom, which is just stunning. And as you can see, we've got our flagpole in prime position moving our way into the cockpit it's been fitted with all new leather in the cockpit and this is the expensive stuff it really is quite comfortable but you can see polished timber table thick stainless steel fixed leg just there we've got speaker speaker Fire extinguisher, shore power in there. That's the gas locker there. So you do have a, a gas tank and then you can mount a Barbie just there. Um, diesel in, that's a manual bilge pump. And then that's the water tank just there. It really is a boat. It's a head turner, this one. I just absolutely love being on board. Wine storage in here, knickknack storage. And these two sliding compartments here. Small sink and prep station just here. Really comfortable 
helm seat just here. And in terms of the instrumentation, it's quite straightforward. So she's a Morse control throttle, Yanmar power, big propeller on this boat. So quite talky. You click this thing into gear and she, you know about it. She wants to go. Um, stern and bow thruster. We've got uh, engine controls here and all our engine uh, feedback. So from revs to PSI, temperature, um, fuel, hydraulic steering. That's just the thrusters turning themselves off. Hydraulic steering, um, beautiful timber wheel. One of the essentials for a lunch boat is an auto anchor, so you can operate that here from the helm. There you go, the thrusters are off. That is your by data, so that's just a speed and depth. And then we've got a low rance uh, chart plotter uh, with a built in VHF and a compass. Windscreen wipers, electric windscreen wiper just there, proper air horn on the on the mast forward with um navigation light on top timber door entry going down into the cabin with all this nice finishing what i like about this particularly for australia you know we love everybody loves timber but there is an element of maintenance and the sun and the weather really hammers your boats in this country so having a fiberglass deck with just a little bit of timber highlights that you you can cover the mast for example has its own cover which wraps over it uh, same as the hatch and this whole cockpit is all covered up at the end of the day and there are clears although why would you use them because the boat's so beautiful without um, but they are there so it's, it's just nice to see it's sensible the, the the small timber footrest and even the mounting where the throttle is it's both ergonomic so easy and comfortable to reach and it's just a nice touch it, it, it looks great uh, but it's not over the top it's not going to be too much maintenance down the line Coming down, stepping down to the cabin. So, full stand up headroom. Whoop. Full stand up headroom. I'm 5'7. I've got this much space just walking forward, and my head's going to touch around about here. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's enough. Um, what we have here, just looking around, we've got this L shape and another lounge on port. That's good for four people comfortably. On the starboard side, we've got our control panel. They fitted a, a new fusion stereo system there, and you've got your 240 and your 12 volt side, and then some breakers for bilge pumps. Your main battery switches are just down here, and your breaker for the anchor windlass as well. Um, just uh, finished fiberglass, really well done on both sides, and then a timber headboard. You could sit up in bed just there with a couple of reading lights and fiberglass finish roof i don't know if you can see that on the camera but the molding has been done to make it look like timber so real sort of hampton style that, that's super cool um a few down lights dotted around this one's flickering but um the rest look okay and once again really nice feature just here for the opening hatch that's that's beaut you know you've got um quite a bit of craftsmanship has gone into that with some bloke back in the day and it's really good to see so just coming around, we've got a decent size opening hatch on the port side. So we have the forward facing hatch and a port opening hatch, which is over the galley. And just moving this lunch platter away, we've got a two burner gas stove just there. We have an electric fridge just here, a bit of storage for all your bits and pieces and some more storage just in here. Um, as you can see, they've been out on the boat recently, so there are a few items on the galley bench top which is a corian by the look of it and a stainless steel that's hot and cold tap just there and then looking at the head compartment for perspective so again i'm five seven so it's enough you'll be Bending over a little bit if you're a bit taller than me, but that's that's the sacrifice you got to make for a beautiful hull line such as this. So we've got a marine head just there. That's electric, and the button to operate it is just there. We have another opening window just here. Um, storage for some of your toilet knickknacks, and that's going to be access to, I would say... Okay. Oh, no, more storage. I thought it was going to be access. That's right. The access to the holding tanks to the engine bay in this boat. 
So we've got a small drain just there, and that's a pull-out tap, so you can have a shower in here. So it's all there, ready to go. And a what looks like a VHF radio just in there. Okay, we'll take a look and walk around the decks. All the teak is in perfect condition. The corking is fantastic. The thickness of the teak just looks original. And that's down to the boat always having been covered. So this area, there are, whilst the clears are not in place, it does have clears that go around the two sides and the front of the windscreen. It has a cover that goes over the clears. So whenever the owners have finished up with the boat, it's completely enclosed all the way to the transom. So basically this cockpit area never sees the weather. And when you take it out for the day, you've just got the sun bimini up in place and that stays up permanently. You can see it's got this nice solid stainless supports here. And then we've got some, um, uh, some wire up in up the front to hold it in place. So we've got a timber rubbing strip Nice big stainless grab rails going up the bow. There's your navigation light just there. That's going to be a VHF aerial. Stainless cleats. Let's go to the bow where we've got a 12 kilogram stainless steel anchor on an electric mule windlass. And there is a foot button uh, operation just here but as I said before you don't need that because you can operate it from the helm just, there you go. plenty of chain and road so as you can see the uh, bimini is made in two two parts uh, two separate bits of material. It's got a beige on the top and the black on the bottom. Just it was made that way for longevity and she's a few years old now this material uh, But it's it's stood the test of time. We have sold this boat a few times before uh, And the condition it's actually improved on the ownership of the current owners um, I'm really Really impressed with what I see so access to the engine bay is via an electric hatch lift which just operates this uh, worm drive system here and lifts the whole cockpit area up. Um, as you can see the Yanmar is a straight shaft diesel, um, there's the shaft exit just there and it's encapsulated in an insulated box so it's just for um, sound deadening really. But around the engine bay you can see both the engine and the house battery banks. You can see the construction of the hull. So we've got these huge forward facing ribs and then access to all the other systems. So holding tank, um, we've got macerator pumps up there. There's a thousand watt um, inverter, sine wave inverter just up there. And we've got our raw water intake. So there's the engine raw water intake, the big one just up forward there. We got our uh, through hole fitting for the sounder and we've got another raw water intake on that side as well. So it's gonna be um, head, uh, and then there's uh, engine and uh, flushing for the toilet is what we're gonna be looking at just there. And more insulation uh, up here as well. And then operation is quite simple. Um, it's just this, there we go. Okay, it's just a quick walkthrough of the Azura 33. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, we will be doing a test drive video, so you're gonna to have to subscribe to the Boat Brokerage YouTube channel if you'd like to see that. That'll be uploaded at a, another time. Um, if you've got any questions, just follow the link in the description below. That's where the boat listing page is gonna be um, linked to. And look forward to hearing from you. Otherwise, if we don't, I hope you enjoy. It's a beautiful boat.